The dinosaurs have always been the stars of the show in these films, and we wanted to make sure that our dinosaurs are the best dinosaurs you've ever seen in a video game. One of the challenges we had right at the start of the project was deciding which dinosaurs we should put in the game. Everyone's got their favourites. Ultimately, I think we've got a pretty good list. In order to create your dinosaurs, you need to bioengineer them. And that means you need to start with the building blocks, the building blocks of life, DNA. And to get those, you need to send out expedition teams to get fossils from dig sites all around the world. Those fossils are then brought back to your, um, to your islands where the DNA is extracted from each of them in order to uh, acquire the genome. And once you've got enough of a genome, you can incubate a dinosaur. So the player's going to be tasked with taking this genome data from dinosaurs found in their fossils, uh, from their dig sites, and engineering it themselves by combining it with modern day DNA of, of animal species from, from our animal kingdom. When these dinosaurs first come out of the Hamming creation, like that's the first step for you as a player to be managing these dinosaurs. You need to make sure that they're happy. The dinosaurs have uh, quite complex natural needs that you'll need to be accommodating throughout the game. So they have their basic ones like hunger and thirst, um, but they've also got more complex ones like some dinosaurs don't like to be in a pen with lots of other dinosaurs. Other ones, they've got a social need, the herbivores in particular, where they need to be around other dinosaurs of the same type or they're gonna get lonely and upset. Big carnivorous dinosaurs, they've got, they've got a need to hunt. They want to, they want to be killing things all the time. So that's, that's really their motivation. Diseases uh, can affect your dinosaurs. Diseases can affect their behavior, can affect their health. So as a, as a player, it's your job to, to manage these, to stop them from, from spreading, for one. Um, so you need to invest in cures, use your ranger teams to medicate the dinosaurs. These creatures are driven by their behaviors. So if they're hungry, they'll eat. If they're thirsty, they'll look for water. If you don't have these things in your park for them to reach, they'll try and find them in their own way. If you don't accommodate these needs, um, things are going to start to go wrong. They're going to want to start trying to escape and eventually they'll start testing your fences. And if you haven't built up the right security, they're going to get out and get out into, into the wild. And it's important to note that all dinosaurs are lethal to you guess. Even our smallest one with the Velociraptor is still bigger than a human and quite deadly. And even with the herbivores, they are quite weighty animals charging at you. Well, esca uh, escape is the quintessential Jurassic Park moment, but it's also one of the more dangerous parts of the gameplay. So once these dinosaurs get out, you're going to have to take control of that situation as quickly as possible because the first thing they're going to do is start going after the guests. When one of these dinosaurs does get out of your enclosure, there's going to be a lot going on that you're responsible for fixing, whether it's getting ACU helicopters in to tranquilize the dinosaurs or your ranger teams in to repair the damage caused by your dinosaurs to your facilities because there's a chance this, error, this problem might cascade. So you want to make sure it's under control as soon as possible. As you progress through the game, you discover new dinosaurs, for example. You can use the new dinosaurs to increase your island rating on your first or previous islands and then build them up so that you can unlock new goodies as well. The more the player's looking after their park and the more they're looking after their dinosaurs, uh, the more that's going to contribute to your own player's prestige of their, their island rating and their dinosaur rating, which is ultimately going to contribute towards getting more unlocks, progressing through the game, and also gaining extra reputation with each of the different divisions, which in themselves will have their own special unlocks. It's amazing to play a game with Jurassic uh, dinosaurs in it. I want the players to feel the joy of playing Jurassic World Evolution. I'm really excited about players uh, having the chance to play this game for themselves. Uh, there are so many different ways to play it and I, I can't wait to see what people come up with.